Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Door closers. Okay, okay door closers. Door closers. Uh, oh, crap. i got to go back to that Brian quote. Um... I could ask you something about that, Rick's in 20. How about okay, oh, Rick, studying the Rick's in yeah. 20 and 28? Uh, okay, so he was looking for a Rick's in floor closer with pivots, center hung. Um, and he was asking for the pivot, uh, center pivots. I yeah, well. The 28. Well, yeah, so, you know, floor closers, floor closers are going to be, there's there's heavy duty and there are those that aren't heavy duty. Much of what Rickson makes are heavy duty, um, but they, but floor closers are still always offset or center hung. So the client asked for, a, he, the client specified a Rickson 20. Well, that's inherently an offset closer. And not that you couldn't use a, and then the client said, well, it needs to be center hung. Well, or or I think the client may have said to use a center hung top pivot. Right. Well, I don't know that that's really a problem, and it may not be, except the vertical axis of pivoting between the pivot pin of that top pivot and all the way down the imaginary line into the spindle of the floor closer needs to be absolutely true plumb level and square. It has to be a plumb line. Mm -hmm. So I can't think of an application where they would want a Rickson, say, 340 or 320 or 345 or H345 at the header, but use an offset arm that the 20 is going to have, except maybe if they mm -hmm. had like a 12-inch thick wall and they were going to inset that door like eight inches in and use, oh, that could be why. So check it out. That could be why. Um, imagine, let's just, for as an intellectual exercise, imagine if you had a 12-inch thick wall and it was 12-inch, it was a 12-inch wood frame and, um, you know, you had... You had, well, you'd have to do something quite unusual to the door itself because that the offset pivot point on the floor, on the arm on the floor closer, is going to stick off the face of the door three-quarter inch unless it's something else, inch and a half. And that pivot point up in the header has to be at the same location. Mm -hmm. So unless the client was using an exceptionally thick door and burying the bottom arm into the door, you wouldn't be able to get that top center hung pivot installed so that you had a plumb line because where the pivot would need to be installed would fall off the face of the door. It wouldn't get to any part of the door unless you had a really weird door construction. You know, maybe a three inch thick door that was paneled. Maybe it was three inch thick on the styles, but then was no longer three inch thick six inches into the door. So, I, I can I can fathom why someone may need to use that because imagine if you had this 12 inch thick wall, how are you going to actually get the offset pivot like a 180 mortise to the header and the door tipped into position and then secured? It wouldn't work. You'd have to mortise. You'd have to do a really strange mortise into the header. So I could fathom how it could work, but. When a client says he wants a 20, they may or may not understand that's offset. And when they say they want a center hung top pivot, well, you're mixing hammers and oranges. They just don't go together. And the question right. could be, well, why are, you know, I could see two reasons why they're asking for it. They are asking for it for a reason that we don't understand, or they're just unaware of what they're doing. So in the in this instance, I wouldn't try to, force this marriage between offset and center hung, I would I would convert it to a center hung closer, like a twenty eight. Um well wait a minute, yeah, twenty eight center hung, 
but a 28 is, is also single acting. So that could be exactly what the client wants. So it does boil down to understanding why the client's asking for that because mm -hmm. I, I, I truly don't see how they could make make a decision to use a 28. A 28, a 28 is indeed single acting. You'd need a 40 to go double acting or, or something like that um, on a center hung. And then the other thing with floor closers is, you know, so you're, you're going to change the guy's part number. You're going to go from a 20 to a 28. So your guiding light really should be, well, is the 28 rated for the same weight as a 20? And it is. It's actually a heavier closer. But is there anything about the 28 that would be problematic? Like, is there a wood door package for the 28? If it's wood doors, will he be able to install it to a wood door? So you'd want to look into issues like that. But I think, I think what you do is you, you requote it as a standard 28 because the 28, um, the 28 includes inherently the 340 top pivot, which I understand the client requested. And you'll say, listen, that's quite a departure from the 20 to the 28. One's offset. This is center hung. We're assuming you actually need a center hung closer because you specified a center hung top of it. But you'll need to tell them is before you send me a PO, we should really talk about your application. Um, because these things are boat anchors once they show up and they're wrong. Right. Does any of that make sense? It, it does. Okay. Um, when you look in the Rickson catalog early on in the floor closers or the pivots section, I should say, um, mm -hmm. it, it defines offset and center hung. And when you, and all it has to do with is where that imaginary line is. Yeah. That's all. That's all it is. Yeah. Okay, awesome. That's all I needed. Thank you very much. All right. Bye. Bye. Architectural Builders Supply hopes you have enjoyed this program. Again, thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please subscribe and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.